Hi there, Jenny kids. I hope you are learning a lot from this awesome series. I can see all your amazing kids watching today through my telescope. Well, today we are on week six of Wise Up. And Worm is going to help us discover some ways that we can learn to wise up and do the right thing. Let me hear you say this after me. I will do the right thing. Great! Now, let's click our listening ears as we watch this story about how Daniel obeyed God. Hi there, friends. Yesterday I crawled into my bedroom and there was trash all over my floor. My sister was the only worm who had been in my room. I just knew she had made that mess. I was so mad I didn't know what to do. I know that the Bible always has wise words, so I wiggled around in there until I found a Bible story that helped me know how to make a wise choice. Let's get ready to see the story by putting on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop! Great! Now let's get ready to listen by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click! Now you're ready. When I wiggled around in the Bible, I found this story about Daniel. Can you say Daniel? Daniel! The king of Babylon marched into the town of Jerusalem and destroyed the city. Then he took Daniel and many of God's people back to Babylon with him. Let me see you all make a mad face like the king of Babylon. Daniel and his three friends had to go live in Babylon. Now they had to work for the king and eat food only from the king's table. But there was a problem. You see, God did not want his people to eat the king's food. Daniel wanted to do the right thing and obey God. So he asked the guard if he and his three friends could eat only vegetables and water. Well, the guard said yes, and for the next 10 days, they only ate vegetables and drank water. Let's all pretend to eat a yummy carrot. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. crunch. Yum, yum. Well, after 10 days, the king was amazed to see how strong Daniel and his friends looked. God helped Daniel and his friends do the right thing even when it was hard. I know that God will help me do the right thing and be kind to my sister, even though it is hard. Instead of yelling at her, I will ask her to help me clean up the mess. That's how I could do the right thing. Let me hear you say this after me. I will do... I will do... The right thing. The right thing. Great. Well, that's all I have for today. But before I go, would you like to do the wiggle worm dance with me? Yes! Then hold up your little wiggle worm finger and make it move as we sing. I'm a little wiggle worm, watch me go. I can wiggle fast and I can wiggle slow. I wiggle all around, then back I go. Down into the ground, to the home I know. Bye-bye, friends! God helped Daniel and his friends do the right thing even when it was hard. And I love how Worm asked God to help him do the right thing and be kind to his sister Worm even when it was hard. You and I can do the right thing just like Daniel and his friends in the story. Great! Here are some questions for you today. First question, if your friend writes on your paper, should you yell at your friend or kindly ask your friend not to do that again? Kindly ask your friend not to do that again. Yes, you can do the right thing when you don't yell at your friend, but use kind words and a kind voice. If you will do the right thing, show me thumbs up. Great! 
Second question, if you want to color with a blue crayon, but your friend is coloring with it, should you pull it out of your friend's hand or wait your turn? Wait your turn. Good job. When you wait for your turn with a happy heart, you are doing the right thing. Awesome. Third question. While you are drawing a picture, you accidentally tear your paper. Should you cry and throw it away? Or should you ask your teacher for another paper? Ask your teacher for another paper. That's right. All of us make mistakes. Instead of getting upset, you can try again. If you will do the right thing, when you make a mistake, I want you to clap your hands. Good job. Fourth and last question. If your teacher asked you to stop drawing on the board, but you keep drawing, did you do the right thing? No. Should you ask for your teacher to forgive you for not doing the right thing? Yes. Let me hear you say this. Please forgive me. Great job, Jenny kids. God wants you and I to do the right thing every day too. Let's go over what we need to know once more. Say it after me, friends. I will do the right thing. Great! I'm sure you are all getting very good at remembering our memory verse. Do it with me, friends. Proverbs 1, 5. Wise people can listen and learn. Awesome! Well, that's it for today, Jenny kids. But before we go, let's quickly pray. Father God, thank you so much that you created us and that we are not perfect people and that we make mistakes every day. But thank you that we can always trust in you and please help us gain wisdom to know when to do the right thing and to obey you just like Daniel and his friends. We ask all this in Jesus name. Amen. Now let's stand up, sing along with Wiggle Worm song and worship God together. See you again next week. Bye. Wise people listen. Uh -huh. Wise people learn. learn. Proverbs 1-5. Wiggle like a worm. Hop, hop, hop. This is how we do it. do it. Spin, spin, spin. Let's get to, get it. to it. Hop, hop, hop. This is how we do it. Do it. Spin, spin, spin. Let's get to it. Wise people listen. Wise people learn. Uh -huh. Proverbs 1 5. Wiggle like a worm. Hop, hop, hop. This is how we do it. Spin, spin, spin. Let's get to it. Hop, hop, hop. This is how we do it. Spin, spin, spin. Let's get to it. Wise people listen. Wise people learn. Proverbs 1 5. Wiggle like a worm. Yeah. What it says to me Tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S -S Came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows Exactly what I need So I remember this Let's go When you ask, he cares When you see the door when you ask he cares when you see he's there when you knock 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 knock